Today we're going to go over rectangles, um, but you need to make sure that you have this graphic organizer from your parallelograms notes. We're going to use it every single day that we do quadrilaterals. All right, so today we're going to go over rectangles. Well, the good news is that the first five things from parallelograms also go on rectangles. So what I want you to do now is take these things and put them all down here. So go ahead and pause the video and rewrite them. All right, so we have that the opposite sides are parallel, that the opposite sides are congruent, that the opposite angles are congruent, that consecutive angles are supplementary, and that diagonals bisect each other. So now what we're going to write is an addition to two of those things. So first of all, um, it says that opposite angles are congruent, which is absolutely true, but a rectangle, the angles are specific. And so all angles, or I should say all corners, corner angles, are all 90 degrees for rectangles. That is something that you should already know. Um, the next thing is we're going to use number five that says diagonals bisect each other, which they do, but in a rectangle, all um, of the diagonals are also congruent. Okay, so now let's go mark these things on our picture. Um, opposite sides are parallel. So this guy is parallel to this one, and this guy is parallel to this one. Um, then we have opposite sides are congruent. So this side is the same length as this one, and this side is the same length as this one. Then the next thing we have is that opposite angles are congruent, but remember that those corner angles are 90 degrees. So they're not just congruent, they're also all 90 degrees. And then um, consecutive angles are supplementary. So those are all of these around the outside. Of course, if they're um, 90 degrees, if you add them together, they would of course be 180 also, but it's the same thing. Alrighty, and then um, diagonals bisect each other, but also the diagonals are congruent. So what that means is each of these little pieces will be the exact same length. They're not going to change. So those are our new rectangle properties. Now we need to go to our actual rectangle notes. So they look like this. And we're going to work some examples. So in this first one, it says quadrilateral RUTS is a rectangle if US, so this one's US, is 6X plus 3, and RT, which is this one right here, is 7X minus 2, find X. So if you remember, whenever we went over the properties, diagonals, um, bisect each other, but they're also congruent. So if the diagonals are congruent, then that means that these are equal to each other. So 7x minus 2 is equal to 6x plus 3. Add 2 to both sides. Subtract 6x from both sides. And x is 5. All right, the next one, it says that STR, S, STR, so we're talking about this angle right here, is equal to that, and UTR, UTR, so we're talking about this angle right here, is equal to that, and we need to find the measure of STR, so we're going to find the yellow. Okay, so both of those make up the corner of a rectangle. 
So from the time that you were tiny, tiny, you should know that corners of rectangles make 90 degree angles. So we're going to add them together and set them equal to 90. So 16x minus 9 plus 8x plus 3 is equal to 90 degrees. 16x plus 8x is 24x. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. Add 6 to both sides. 24x is equal to 96. Divide both sides by 24. And x is 4. So if we need to find SRT, I need to plug 4 in there. So 8 times 4 plus 3. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 3. So the measure of angle STR is equal to 35 degrees. I believe, yep, that's the end of your rectangle notes.